Hi friends and thanks so much for being here. If you follow along with the things that I share, you know that I love to be organized and I love to have pieces and parts ready so that when I want to come to my craft area and make some cards, I have a lot of things on hand and I don't have to spend a ton of time cutting card bases, making up sentiment tags, things like that. Now, I like to share these tips with you too. So today I wanna to show you my sentiment box. If you have been following along for a while, you've seen this before, you know it's one of my favorite things in my craft room. But I wanna share with you today, I have been adding to my sentiment box to have a lot of tags prepped and ready for my projects. Today I created it a lot more in a really fun way and I wanna show you how I did it. Here you can see my sentiment box. This is a tackle box for fishing. I get a lot of questions about what kind it is, where I got this. The brand is FLW Outdoors. I found it in my garage, uh, so I cannot recommend where to look for it, but that's the brand. Now what I've done here is I created sections of different sizes. I love this particular box because it has these removable sections and I can make the, si the compartments any size I want. So I have some for all my different occasions and I have all of these tags prepped and ready for when I'm making a card and I don't wanna take a couple extra minutes to stamp a tag. So I have thank you, thinking of you, love, congratulations, birthday, all these different occasions in this box. So today I was making up some more tags and I wanna show you how I was doing this. I was using a really fun set it is called Conversation Bubbles. And because of the way this is designed, I was able to use it in a really cool way to make 11 sentiments at once, 11 die cut sentiments at once. Now, when we're die cutting, sometimes it can take quite a bit of time, but when you can do a lot of die cutting at once and a lot of stamping at once, it can save a ton of time. So in, I don't know, I don't know how long I spent here, but I created over a hundred of these tags and I could have created lots more than that if I just wanted to do a little bit more die cutting and stamping. So let me show you what I did. I, what I do is I did my die cutting first. I took some pieces of cardstock. These are the same size as a card base. So five and a half by eight and a half. And I started laying all of these die cuts on at once. When you can do a lot of die cutting at one time, really saves you a lot of effort. So I laid all of the little bubbles, the little word bubbles on here. And I cranked this through my die cutting machine. If you notice, I have two pieces of cardstock here. What I find is with some of these more basic dies, I'm able to cut through two layers of cardstock pretty easily. And it does a nice job. It doesn't, I don't end up with those little spots that don't cut through. So I cut through two layers at once and I did this with white cardstock. I did it with several other colors as you're gonna see. So I think I cranked through maybe like five times, five or six times. I ended up with 10 or 12 sets of all of these bubbles. So what did I do then? I could stamp them individually if I wanted. Uh, here's what I ended up with. You'll notice some of these actually do like a double cut, like this one right here uh, and this one down here. So what you end up with are two separate pieces you can use. You can stamp inside of this one on your card and put this over top or you can use this one. You can use both of them, of course. So when you crank those through one time, you end up with all of these pieces. And if you wanted to, you could even do the little hearts and the little flower and a few extra little decorative pieces. Once I had all those pieces, I grabbed my Stamparatus. This is my favorite stamping tool of all time, I think. Uh, I love to use it in some really creative ways in some ways that really save me, save me time and make my projects simpler. So I cut all those dies from this piece of cardstock that would fit on my base. The other ones were a little bit too long. So I made one that would fit on my base. I cut them out and the extra little outline pieces, I went ahead and I glued to this piece of grid paper on the back. The next thing I did, I started lining up all of my stamps in these holes. And I had to kind of estimate which ones, wh where they went exactly. Uh, but I tried to do my best job of lining them up. But once I had them where I wanted them, brought the plate over, mounted them. And as you can see in the background, I did some test stamping. So I inked these up, stamped. And if I didn't like where it was, like if it wasn't centered quite right, 
I remove that one, I remove this one, whichever ones were not quite lined up right, and I tried it again. And then I used a different color of ink to ink it up and to stamp to see, okay, now did my, let's say I did red this time, do the red ones look like they are where I want them? If not, I just readjusted them till I got them where I wanted them. Now, once you have this set up, you can create so many of these in just a short period of time. So here you can see how I did this. I start by taking my already prepped die cuts and putting them one at a time into the holes onto my Stamparatus base, the holes in that cardstock. So I fit each of those pieces into each of the holes, just like a puzzle. Once I have those all in place, I can ink up my stamps, stamp, I wanna give it a nice good press. Now, if this doesn't stamp right the first time, I can go ahead and stamp a second time, but just because of repositioning the pieces and everything, I really wanted to get a good stamp the first time. So I inked it up, I stamp, and you can see how they turned out. So each of those pieces is stamped, and then I go ahead and I remove each one. It, you can pick these out with your hands, with your fingernails if you want to. I'd really love to use my take your pick tool. I could use the piercing tool or the spatula tool to lift them out, but I really like to use that sticky end and it just grabs it with that sticky end, lifts it out, and I can remove those pieces and get ready for my next round. So after I have those removed, I wanna, if I'm changing colors, I wanna clean my stamps off. I use my stamp and chamois for this. This is my favorite tool to use for cleaning stamps on a regular basis. And especially when I'm using my Stamparatus, this is how I clean it. Then I, once those are clean, I fill back in the holes with my next set of die cuts and I can ink those stamps up with another color of ink and stamp again. So I'm repeating this several times and you can see how in just a short amount of time, I'm ending up with a lot of really cute tags and die cuts I can use on my projects. So I can store these in my sentiment box, have them all organized and prepped and ready for a lot of cards. Now here you can see the tags that I've created. And in just a minute, I wanna show you some projects, some finished cards that I have created with some of these word bubbles. Now I love that these add a totally different style to most of the sentiments that I have in my collection. I feel a lot of times like I don't have enough things for kids and like cute funny things for teens or just like friends that I wanna have some kind of funny card for. So I love that these add a totally different style. Now, if you're looking at these like, oh, I really like the word bubbles, but I'm not, you know, what if I want some different sentiments on them? Well, let me show you what you can do. Once you die cut them and you have your blank die cuts, what you can do is bring in some other stamps. So here are two, these actually came from that same stamp set. Uh, they just didn't have an actual word bubble with them. So I stamped on two of them with those, but if you want completely different sentiments, here is a set I brought in that I liked the what they said, and I also like the sizes of them because they worked with a lot of these little bubbles. So I stamped, thank you, hello, cheers, happy birthday, best of luck. So I have quite a variety of tags now that I can add to my box and use on some projects. So let me show you a few projects that I did create with these. And I kept these pretty simple. I, I if you're wondering how to use these, my, I think what popped into my mind the fast, as soon as I saw them, was to use them with cute animal stamp sets. So here are a few that I pulled out that I thought they would look really cute with. This Peekaboo Farm one would be perfect. Some of these little word bubbles, any of these animals. Now, the set that I decided to use for my samples is this Taco Fiesta set, which I think is super fun. It's got all the little uh, Mexican foods and the pinata and the cactus. And then it has these sweet little faces. So we have the one with the mustache, a winky face, the surprise face. So anyway, lots of fun things in this set. So two of my cards use that set and two of them I actually just use the war bubbles. So let's take a look at them. Now, this one I kept super simple, but I just wanted to show you the possibilities can be very simple and very quick and easy. So I just popped up the strip of white cardstock, added my tag, which could say anything. It could say cheers, best wishes, yum, whatever it is. 
Uh, I chose thank you and a couple little pearls to dress it up a little bit. Now here's the complete opposite with just the word bubbles. I filled the whole card with them. So uh, we have yay, hi, oh, wow, uh, hello. And I thought this, I, uh, this could be f fun for anything, right? It could be for birthday. It could be just because it could be like good luck or congratulations, but just wanted to create one kind of all occasion that could be used for anything. So I glued some straight on, I popped some up and added a few pearls in between. Now let's look at a few that I created with that Taco Fiesta stamp set. Uh, because I I think the, the way I, would, I will use this set the most often is with little characters who are thinking or saying some of these words. So that's when I decided that to use that little chili pepper. I stamped some of the different faces on it. So uh, hopefully you can see those. Added some confetti and then three of those cute little word bubbles. And then this one is lots of fun. This one I actually used that outline piece the extra outline piece that gets cut. And I stamped directly on my card with one, to, one of the sentiments from that Taco Fiesta stamp set. Just added that around to show you another way to use these. So I hope this gives you some fun ideas for how you can have some sentiments prepped and ready in your craft area for when you're going to sit down and make some cards, save you a little bit of time. And thanks so much for watching along. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. If you're interested in any of the products I share today, there are links in the video description below. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.